Father, thank you for the grace and enablement to serve in your presence. This is looking nice, right? Okay. Thank you, Lord. It's a good thing to serve God. It's always joy to serve God. Ooh, sweet. Serving God. Serving God is sweet. Ooh, you, you deserve it. You deserve it. Lord, I thank you so much for the grace you've given me to serve you in your house. You've given me creative ideas. You've given me lyrics to songs that I know will bring glory and honor to your name. Thank you so much. Is this the kind of grace you expect me to work with? Hello, young lady. How are you? I'm very well, sir. Wow, that, that, this is great. I, I see work going on around here. Wow, I can see that you are actively using the grace and ability that has been bestowed upon you to be productive in the kingdom. Tell me the, the secret. How has it been? In fact, very interesting and fulfilling. I am doing very well with the grace of God upon my life. As you can see, it is working. It is just abundant for the work. Sometimes I was weak, but the strength always comes. You see, that is the grace of God for you. The grace of God always compensates for your weakness. See, when God adds his power to your effort, that is when you know the grace of God is at work. The grace gives you strength. I am so impressed that you are actually working effectively. You are profitable. I'd like you to continue your work. I'm impressed. <laughs> Young lady, how are oh, you? Yes, sir. I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you, oh. sir? Wow, wow. Are you working on a new song or something? You're working? Actually, yes, I am. I'm working on a new song. Wow, wow. So, so I wanted to tell me the secret behind your effectiveness. You, you have been really effective. You've covered a lot of area. You, you've been impactful in your world. Tell me, what has been the secret? Well, honestly, looking at this great work here, it can be nothing but the grace of God. Look at it, it's right here beside me. It might not be as big as that of my sister over here, but truly, it's sufficient. It's enough for the work that I'm doing. Really, I never thought I'd be able to do all of this before, but it's just His grace. Wow. You see, that's the grace of God for you. When God adds his effort to your labor, that's exactly what grace is all about. You see, I'm so excited that you are putting this to work and you are not complacent. I'm excited and I know the master is excited as well. God's grace is always sufficient. And when you prove that you are able to use what he has given to you to work and, and be effective, he's going to increase your grace. Thank you so Keep much. up the good work. Keep up the Thank good work. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Young man. Master, Master, like Hello, what is going on? Why is there no work going on around this territory? Were oh. you not giving grace for the work? Is this the little grace and ability you expect me to work with? Look at this lady's own. It's big. Look at the other lady over there. Has is so big. How do you expect me to work with this little grace? You are partial. Come on. How can you expect to receive something bigger yes. when you haven't done anything at all yes. with what has been given to you? Yes. 
How can you expect to receive something bigger? Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Let that little grace be there is not sufficient for me. You are partial. How dare you call the grace of God not sufficient? If you are faithful with the little things that God has entrusted into your hands, He's going to entrust into your hands bigger things. If you are dishonest with the little things, how can you be honest with greater responsibilities? Young lady, the master has sent me to you. He has said that you have been profitable. You have been relevant. You have covered a lot of area. You have been using his grace, his ability upon your life to be impactful in his kingdom and to the world at large. He has asked me to increase you on every side and add more grace to what you have already. You see this? This is from the master. Father, I thank you for this. And I will always be a blessing to your kingdom. Thank you. Continue with your work. Don't forget, always be useful. Madam. Oh, yes, sir. You have been a great inspiration to the world. Your music has touched the lives of so many persons. The master has said that since you have been relevant in the kingdom, since you have used the little he has given to you to be profitable and to impact and change lives, he has asked me to come increase you and give you something special. Me? He that is faithful with little wow. will definitely be faithful with much. I can't <laughs> believe this. Here wow. is it. This is amazing. He's adding more grace to you. My goodness. Oh, thank you so much, sir. You mean now... I actually have more grace, more grace to glorify God even more in this work that I'm doing. I'm amazed. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, thank you. You got to thank the master. Oh, my goodness. He's the doer. Yes, He's yes. the one that has given you this grace. Mm -hmm. Continue with your work. You can go ahead and, and, and keep doing what you're doing, thank okay? Thank you so much. You have, been, you have been really, really doing well. Don't oh, worry, sir. you Thank can you. continue with your work. Thank you. With the grace that has been given to you. Thank you. Go ahead with your work. Hey, 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 hey. What about me? Where are you going to? You increase that other lady's grace and the other, this lady as well. Are you going to leave me with this little grace? What am I supposed to do with it? Young man, because you have taken the grace of God for granted, because you have turned out to be the one who stores up ability and grace just because you call it little and you have refused to be profitable in the kingdom of God and the world at large, the master has said he will replace you. For it is written in Acts chapter 1 verse 20, for may his place be deserted. Let no one dwell in it. And may another take his place. You call the ability of God small? Do you know how many destinies are tied to this assignment that God has given to you? Yet you call it small? Do you know souls that would have been impacted if you have been using this grace and ability to work for the master and for his kingdom? Yet, you call it small? Has God not given you life? He has given you peace. He has given you health. Yet, you refuse to be profitable and work in his vineyard. The master says, he has heard the cry of a stranger from a very far country and he has decided to replace you and hand over what he has given to you to the other person. Please, Father. Please forgive me. Please.
please forgive me. I want to be relevant in my generation. I want to be used. I want to be a blessing. I want to be productive, Father. Please forgive me, Lord. Please. Have mercy upon me. Have compassion upon me. Forgive my sins. I've ne neglected the blessings you gave me, O oh Lord. The Lord says he will forgive you. The word of God says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But young man, you must understand, the Bible says the king's business requires urgency. Whatever you must do, you must do quickly. You must not take the grace and the ability of God for granted. You must effectively put to work that that has been entrusted into your hand. So many destinies are tied to your life. You must go out there and preach the word of God. Not preaching the word of God is like a doctor hiding the medicine from the patient. You must be relevant in your generation. You can go ahead and start working. People of God, do you have the grace and ability of God and you haven't been putting it to work? You might not have had something that is greater than the person that is next to you, but God has put something in you. It is time for you to put it to work. There are so many destinies that are tied to your assignment. That idea that you are living to lie down low, that you haven't put into action. God wants you to put into action now. God wants you to work specifically in his house. Many souls are dying out there and God is looking for laborers in his vineyard. He said, I sought for a man, but I found none who will stand in the gap. But God wants you to be impactful. God wants you to use his gift he has given to you to bless your world and your generation. I want you to bow your heads and say these words of prayer after me. If you haven't been using your gifting, if you haven't been using your ability for the kingdom to make impact in your world, say, God, have mercy upon me. Forgive me. I want you to use me. I want you to change me. I'm ready to be used and be blessed by you. In Jesus' name, amen.